there, Simon Trades here, or some people like to pronounce it, Simon Trades. Now, I'm at Rougie Town Railway Station because I've got to walk today to Rougie Trev Valley. I've got this idea of how much you can see the chase line from the ground level between Rougie Town Station and Rougie Trev Valley Railway Station. And that's basically today's walk. So if you join me for this walk, we're going to see how much of it you can see. If you'd like to follow me, we'll go down to Wharf Road. Now Rougie Town Station is right behind me here. It's when I feel that Rougie Town Railway Station is actually standing there to be honest. But I'm going to turn the camera this way because we're going down Wharf Road. Now as I mentioned with Wharf Road, this was built in 1876 so the people from Brereton and Rougie could come up this road to get the local coal from that came from the collieries that were worked here. We're going to go down this road now to see how much you can see of the chase line before we get to our first railway bridge. We now come to the bottom of the road and the railway actually crosses these two arch bridges here. We dub them as the arches sometimes but they used to be by the Britannia pub which is just here. That's now a vet. But Rougie Town's that direction and Rougie Trevay's in that direction. However though I'm going to be leaving the main road because I'm actually going to be following that road behind me here to show you another bridge that the chase line crosses over. And now on Arch Road, and I've come to this private road here, Town Wharf, but this is not what I wanted to see because the chase line is up there. But behind me here is another railway bridge, and this railway bridge is absolutely stunning indeed. I think it's called Sanders. But Rougie Trevay is in that direction, Rougie Town's in that direction. I'll just show you this quick uh, view of the bridge, and then we'll show you some more areas of the chase line passing. But to be honest, though, I don't think there's much you can see in these areas. I'm now on Heron Street and you can just see the chase line behind me there but to be honest you can't really see much to be honest. I'll just zoom in quick and show you the chase line from another street. So I'm now on Queen Street, not Glasgow Queen Street, Queen Street in Rugeley. And you can just see the chase line made out there but again you can't see much. So we're going to head to the canal now to see a few more bridges on the Trent to Mercy Canal. Now on the Trent to Mersey Canal, as you can see behind me is the freight over line that used to take it to Lee Hall Colliery. That's a disused railway bridge right there. But the bridge beyond here, Skewed Bridge, actually where the chase line carries on to Rouge Trent Valley. And you can see this from the canal. So I just left the canal down there I'm on this uh, footpath. Now the chase line is actually just above there. You can see where that Skewed Bridge is. And you can just make out the chase line the embankment for it in that direction. There is another bridge that will show you down there in a second. But you can also see on this side the embankment because there's the disused railway line that took you to the Hall Colliery and you can just see the embankment here of where the coal trains used to pass. But sometimes you can actually stand on top of there to look down at Rougie Power Station. But as I mentioned I'm just going to head in that direction now to show you Love Lane Bridge. And right behind me now is Love Lane Bridge. The chase line actually goes across this way. So that way is the Rougie Trev Valley, that way is the Rougie Town. 
It's a lovely bridge indeed. I've just got to go up on this embankment now to show you the chase line from this embankment. But to be honest though, with the trees in the way, you won't be able to see much. Now I've just come up onto this hill and as you can see, there's the steps that I have to take to get up onto this hill. We'll just have a quick look over here and you just make out the chase line with the wires up and all that and the gantries for the electrification. Just explore a bit more of this hill now. Now we're just on top of this hill that I mentioned earlier and that used to be the track bed that came off the chase line which used to talk you to Lee Hall Colliery and that's that bridge that we just saw underneath. Now Lee Hall Colliery was in this direction over here it was just past the Amazon plant, which you can just see in the background there now, that blue building. However though, we would come up here to have a look at the chase line. And unfortunately, like I mentioned, the trees are in the way. There's that skew bridge that I was on about. And the trees are just in the way, but you just can't see anything because of the trees in the way. It's all right in December, but when it's summer, when all the leaves are on, you just can't see anything. I'll just show you a quick train passing and then we'll carry on. So I've just come down those stairs now, but I want to show you two more bridges. Now one, I'll be heading that direction, but taking a left to show you that bridge. Then I'm going to be taking that way to go onto the A51 bypass and show you another bridge in that area that the chase line crosses over. So this bridge right here is Power Station Road Bridge. Now it's brick and a bit of concrete, so it looks like it has been a bit modern as well. I think there's a train just coming across now, yeah. So that's going towards Rooster Town Railway Station at 3.50. So I'm going to show you another bridge now which is a bit more modern. Now this bridge behind me here is actually a freight only line bridge that took you to Rooster B Power Station. Now what I have noticed under the bridge is there is actually a memorial plan for Dave Barker. He was, um, I think he helped to build the A51 bypass, which is just under that bridge there. But as we know, that line is now disused because that's used to talk to Rooshi B Power Station. And Rooshi B Power Station has actually currently been demolished. But we've turned in this direction over here, you can see another bridge here. And this bridge carries the chase line towards Rooshi Trev Valley that direction. Now I'm going to be walking the A51 bypass to meet up at the roundabout. Because at the roundabout, is the entrance towards Rooshi Trev Valley Railway Station. So we're going to be here about round about in a second. So we just come down the A51 bypass down here. And the bridge that was just out was just down there. And a good view of Rooshi B Power Station just up there as well, which is brilliant to see. Now, we're at this roundabout, which is just behind me here. And the next thing I'm going to show you is Colton Road. There's a bridge on Colton Road here. They can have a look at the chase line. And you can only see the chase line curving towards Rooshi Trent Valley from there. Now just right here is the River Trent. And it's lovely flowing with water. But we head towards the power station which is just there. I'll just zoom in a bit as best I can. You can just see the chase line in the distance there. Now the chase line goes all the way around through a gorge. And it meets up just where I am now at Rooshi Trent Valley and Rooshi Trent Valley Station is just behind this Trent Valley Industrial Estate which I'm heading to now
So I'm now at Rougie Trent Valley Railway Station and to be honest the walk from Rougie Town to Rougie Trent Valley Railway Station started off with nice and sunny but now it's pretty much cloudy to be honest and plus this was filmed on the 1st of December so the nights are drawing in early as well but we had a look at the chase line for the ground level and to be honest there actually was some good bridges along the way that we saw but some places you could not see the chase line as much because of the trees in the way and all that but it was still a lovely walk indeed now the real reason about Rishi Trent Valley 4 is because I'm waiting for a freight train which is really about 50 minutes late. It was supposed to be at 10 to, 10 to 3 but it's now due at 20 to 4. Now this freight work is a GBF train which has gone from East Midlands Gateway to Seaforth. Uh, I think Seaforth is in Liverpool Mersey Way. So I'm going to wait for that to pass through and I'm going to be talking about what we're going to be doing next. It was lovely to see 66716 passing through on that freight train from East Midlands Gateway to Seaforth. I think that's a new freight worker as well. But like I said, it was running an hour late nearly. Now, I'm going to talk to you about my next video because the walking journeys will be coming to an end. This is the last walking journey that I will be filming. Because this was filmed on the 1st of December and the lockdown is ending on the 1st of December. By the time this video goes up, we're actually back in the tier system. Unfortunately, though, Staffordshire's in tier 3, and it's not our fault really because the cases are so high in Stoke on Trent. And just because of that, we are in tier 3 lockdown of sorts. But I'm actually going to make a bad decision, and to be honest, I have to do this because last month I was actually going to film the content for the Christmas specials in November. But unfortunately, with this lockdown that we just had, I couldn't do it. So that's why I did the walking journeys during my week off. And I do need to get these Christmas specials filmed because there's a Christmas special going to happen on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day and New Year's Day. And I actually do have some ideas of what to do with them. And I got to get these filmed. So the next one that will go up on Christmas Eve will be a railway journey. I can guarantee it's going to be a railway journey. I do actually have some ideas what I'm going to do. So hopefully you will see them soon. So I think it's about time to end this video now. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Your subscription really does help. Please leave a like and please feel free to leave a comment. I will answer most of you, all your comments to be honest. Not most of them. All your comments. And this blog has terminated at Rougie Trent Valley Railway Station. Thank you for travelling with Simon Trains. And we will film this shot of Class 350 to Zero leaving Rougie Trent Valley to end the show. Thank you for watching, stay safe and see you for Christmas Eve.